Hey guys, welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be showing you how to get Eevee and all of its evolutions on Pokemon Legends Arceus. Let's get straight into it. Okay, so first up is Eevee and to get Eevee you, you want to come to the Obsidian Field Lands and come right here. You may want to mark it if that makes it easy for you. <clears throat> and then these two Pokemon, uh, one of them has a chance of being Eevee and if it's not Eevee you just want to catch or kill him and then you want to reset the spawns by going from day to night or from night to day and then just keep going until you get the Eevee and when you get the Eevee you want to be careful um, make sure it doesn't see you or it will run away and then you've got your Eevee I do want to say before we get into the evolutions that you can catch Eevee and all of its evolutions in the space-time distortions but Eevee is a rare spawn and all its evolutions is a very rare spawn but I'll show you how to do that when we get to each one okay so the first one we're going to be doing is Jolteon and to get a Jolteon we're going to be coming right here on the map and you want to scale up this mountain uh, and eventually you'll get up and you want to be looking for the grey ore deposits that you'll find up here and once you destroy them you have a chance of getting a thunderstone uh, once you go through all the grey ore deposits up here you can go drop down and go through the tunnel and there will be free in there every single time you go in there and eventually you'll get a thunderstone so i'll see you when we get one okay so if you've destroyed all the ore deposits that are there you can go back to the village and then come back and all the ore deposits will have respawned and then just keep doing that until you get one okay so we got a thunderstone and let's go evolve our jolteon Okay, I do want to say that you can get all the evolutionary uh, stones here from Simona in town. Uh, you will want to uh, just trade and then it's a thousand merit points for each of them which you get for collecting satchels around the world. Okay, so next up we're going to be going after Flareon. So to get Flareon we want to destroy the red ore deposits and we'll be doing that over here. Okay, so we got the fire stone and let's move on to the water stone. So the best way to get the water stone is if you come here and you just want to be scaling the mountain and you be and you want to get on this right here and once you get on here you want to go up and there'll be a lot of blue ore deposits here and you just want to destroy them until you get a water stone. So I'll be right back when I do that. Okay so now we've got our water stone let's head back to the village to evolve a Pokemon. If you did want to hunt down these Pokemon by using the space-time distortions, uh, you can find Jolteon in the Coronet Highlands. You can find Flareon in the Cobalt Coastlands or the Crimson Mealands. And you can find Vaporeon in the Cobalt Coastlands. So now that we've done Flareon, Jolteon and Vaporeon, we're going to be heading straight into Leafeon and Glaceon. So let's do that right now. So to get Leafeon, uh, you want to put a some kind of stamp or marking on the map right here at the bottom of the map and you'll see a uh, mossy covered rock and when you get that uh, you just have to go in your inventory and evolve your eevee and it'll go straight into a leafeon you can also find leafeon in the obsidian field lands in space time distortions if you want to do it that way Okay, so to get Glaceon, you want to come right here on the map, which is right here. I've uh, stamped it so I can always remember it. Uh, you might be best doing the same. And then you want to drop down and you want to run down the tunnel until you get to a point where you can turn left and right. Uh, you don't want to go right, you want to go left and you want to go all the way till the end of the tunnel. And you will find an ice rock where you can evolve your Eevee into Glaceon. So let's do that right now. Sorry about that, just had to answer the door. Um, if you do want the Glaceon through space-time distortions, you will find them in the Alabaster Icelands. And let's move straight on to Umbreon, Espeon and Sylveon. Okay, so this is where it gets a bit tricky. You're going to need three Eevees with high friendship to get these Pokemon. And if you want me to do a separate video on how to get a friendship up uh, quite fast, then let me know and I'll do that. Uh, so first we're going to be doing Espeon, uh, you want to check its moves 
and you want to make sure it has no fairy type moves because if it has a fairy type move then it'll evolve into sylveon every time so you want to evolve it during the day and with no fairy type moves and it will evolve into an espion okay so there you have it now you have an espion if you do want to get your espion in space-time distortions you can do that in alabaster icelands okay so next we're going to do umbreon and to do umbreon uh, you want to come to the tent and you want to make it so it's night time because you can only get an umbreon during the night okay so it's the same again you want to make sure it has no fairy type moves and then you want to make sure it's night time and when you evolve it it will turn into an umbreon when its friendship is high enough so let's do that right now Okay, so now we have an Umbreon and an Espeon, and the only one to do now is Sylveon. So with Sylveon, you want to make sure it has a fairy type move, and then when you evolve it, it should turn into a uh, Sylveon. So let's do that right now. Personally, my favourite evolution, and there you have it. There's Umbreon, Espeon, and Sylveon. I almost forgot to mention, if you do want Umbreon, then you will get it in the Crimson Maylands in Space Time Distortions. And if you want your Sylveon in space-time distortions, uh, they will be in Obsidian Fieldlands. So I hope you've enjoyed the video and found it helpful. If you did, leave a like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.